And here's another material, $2.88 a running foot. This is almost identical to what I put in the toolbox. Although this doesn't come pre-cut, it comes by the linear foot. This is 36 inches wide. So it wouldn't take a whole lot of this. Yes, you too can make your cheap toolbox luxurious. Dave from the Crafted Channel, let me tell you the story of this toolbox. My sister was having a garage sale last year when the neighbors rolled it across the street with a $20 price tag on it. She called me and she says, Dave, would you like a roll around toolbox with not too many drawers for 20 bucks? I said, sure. I forgot all about buying it. I even paid her for it. Six months later, I'm visiting her and I said, what's this empty toolbox in your garage? She said, well, that's yours. I, oh, yeah. So I brought it home. I've got it incorporated into my uh, studio uh, office here. And uh, I'm putting tools in it. And I have a whole tray of tools and cool things I'd like to put in it. But what sucks, the drawers don't have any liners in it. And um, I need to do something about that. Well, I've got something to make the liners out of. Let's get busy. This is not a Craftsman toolbox as far as I know, but it's probably made by the very same company that makes the Craftsman toolboxes. Notice this little triangle here in the slide. This is the non-ball bearing slide. And in here you can see there's another kind of matching triangle that's punched from the other side of the drawer. And the face of this triangle, this area right here, collides with the face of this one. And that's what pulls out and stops you from pulling the drawer all the way out. Now there's an easy way to get those out. They can be a lot of struggle if you don't understand the trick. A screwdriver goes right in here so that you're prying down on the top of the triangle that's molded into the door or into the drawer and lifting up on this on the slide. So you jab, jam the small screwdriver in there and pull on the drawer as you rotate the screwdriver. And it pushes that, pries that down. There's a little bit of clearance to allow this to happen. Then you can disconnect the drawer. You do this on both sides before you slide this all the way back so you don't end up bending one of these slides. And that's how we get the drawers out. I'm going to get one of these drawers out, one of the big drawers below, and uh, we're going to go make uh, liners for it. This is my new Black & Decker Workmate. I traded my newer one for this older one. And the older they are, the better they are. This material, my friends, is rubber backed. It's uh, got some thickness to it, a lot thicker than normal drawer liner. I'm going to say it's about uh, 3 30 seconds, maybe pushing an eighth inch thick, maybe a little thicker with tuft. This is carpet. This is a cheap floor mat. This is luxurious for a toolbox liner. It can be put with the rubber side up or the carpet side up. Your tools aren't going to move around as much. They're not going to make a bunch of noise and this stuff is cheap. Now I had these two and we're no longer using them. We have a dog with bad hind legs and she can't walk on this. Uh, we put rugs across our kitchen floor so she can actually walk on it, get a little grip with her feet. And these are no good to us anymore. Uh, so we're, I'm going to cut them up and make toolbox drawer liners out of it. I'm going to do the big drawers first. And let's see, these are 48 wide. So I'm going to take the two big drawers out. See, I'm lining the drawer up on the edge. And I 
think what I can do, I've got the drawer overhanging the back edge ever so slightly. I'm going to lay the ruler there. And just cut it out. Oh, remove the guard. Now, I don't know how far to go. See, I was able to find that edge again just by lifting this up. Need to go all the way to there. Okay. Suppose I can just trim right along the drawer. Didn't want to scratch the paint on the face of it. Okay, so I'm a little bit wide. I'm gonna trim that off. Oh, gotta trim a little more. Another eighth off of it. One toolbox drawer, wall to wall carpeting. Now I gotta get the rest of them. I've got two drawers this size, and I'm gonna line this piece up right over top of the carpet. The second one should be a little easier and a little more accurate. There we go. So I'll fit it. Nice fit. Two done. Now for the little drawers. So here's one of our smaller drawers. I have to make four of these. You know, I think it's easier to put the ruler underneath the drawer. up till you see the edge just inside. Should have another one. Boom. Ah, too big again, too big again. There's some little piece of geometry there that's befuddling me. Another eighth of an inch. Maybe I'm just not accounting for the thickness of the metal. But this cheap toolbox certainly is not an inch thick. There we go. Beautiful. Now I have a pattern for the rest of them. Boom, number three. The top of the top box is 22, and then it comes under this lip. So it's 22 by 11 and 3 quarters. The top of the top box is 26 and a quarter. 13 and 3 quarters, which should be the measurement from here. I'm going to go with it. Get those cut out. So let us see if this piece will be useful. It's 14. 
27. Yes, we will be able to use it. Awesome. This dimension is 26 and a quarter. Here we are, back in the lair. Drilled it away. And the drawers just installed by lining them up and shoving them in. Plastic hammer, my favorite tool. These are all pliers and cutty things. The screwdriver drawer. And what's that piece of hardware doing in there? Felt? Felt? You gotta be kidding me. That probably costs as much per yard as these rugs I'm using. Perfect. Well, we'll put the hardware back. A Dell Axiom. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. I've got no place else to put it for now. Batteries. Extra batteries for the uh, round and sharp caliper, digital caliper. Boom. This contains in here some miscellaneous stuff, a few things related to the printer, I guess cleaning, scraping. To the bottom drawers. This is a really deluxe bottom roll around draw box. Two whole drawers. Look at that cavernous space down below. Where did that come from? That's the right one. Beautiful. I guess I should put the drill. Ah, drill bits go up here and pop. We'll put these gauges down here. Part to the printer. Mm, interesting cutting tool. 
here with the other cutting tools. Look at that. Look at that. This makes it sound like a snap-on toolbox, don't it? And finally, a liner for the bottom. Put the bolt heads from the casters in there. Isn't that so much nicer? Just phenomenal. This is Dorf with the Crafted Channel. Yes, you too can make your cheap toolbox luxurious with carpet for drawer liners. Get busy, get something done, make your workshop a better place to be. See you next time. So here is a roll of thin carpet that would make great drawer liner. A couple different shades. 1787. She got carpet left over to make a little carpeted work area on your workbench. And here's another material, $2.88 a running foot. This is almost identical to what I put in the toolbox. Although this doesn't come pre-cut, it comes by the linear foot. This is 36 inches wide. So it wouldn't take a whole lot of this to make your luxurious toolbox liner. Most places have displays like this. You can do it in brown and gray. I think I would avoid the stuff with the rubber on the edges cost more and it's thicker. You don't want to take up too much room inside your toolbox.